So what's going on guys, welcome back in other videos. In today's video, I want to show you two wallets that potentially they're going to give us the airdrop in the future. So especially Bitcoin ecosystem is super hot right now and we've seen so many new developments being built in the entire infrastructure. So I think that's one of the two wallets that have a really high chance of giving the incentive to early adopters. So one of these rumors that we've seen is that the Bitcoin original wallet Unisat is raising fund at $50 million valuation. So we also have seen that OKX has not participated in the funding but that's just only rumors because they have already implemented the ordinals into their own marketplace and they making a huge amount of volume and on the other hand we also have vinyl slabs which is in close communication and has not yet made a final decision and supposedly some smaller investors has been already finalized so on the pitchbook website we can see that they have private seed around which is not disclosed and they have one investor and on the official website you can find out different business partners like for example hdx exchange okx exchange we also have different marketplaces like magic eden ordinals wallet and so on and on the development side we have exchanges like binance or kucoin you can see how rapidly the entire bitcoin ecosystem expands so now let me show you how we can potentially qualify for the unisat airdrop so first of all you will need to download the wallet from google chrome or a different browser that you use install it, save the recovery phrase and deposit some Bitcoin to it. So now what is really interesting to me is that we have the Unisat points. I'm not too sure if you can guys see this, but I have 125 points at the moment, which is how many inscriptions I made. So these points are basically the major indicator when it comes to the airdrop. But also we can have some additional different criteria like volume made on the platform or different features that you used or how many transactions you made. So now the most important thing you need to basically start inscribing. So if whether you want to inscribe files or um, domains names or text file. So if you inscribe bitmaps, for example, in the past, that's the one of the most features that was used. And so you could have done that in single file or in bulk. You can also start inscribing or deploying or transferring your BRC20 tokens. So essentially, that's the main window that you're going to play with. You can do anything that you really want. You can do like AA or wherever, and then you can go next. And you will need to just start inscribing. So you can see at the moment, you will need to pay $5 for one inscription, which is quite expensive at the moment. But it all depends on the network congestion. So now, I definitely recommend you to start using one of these features like inscribe file. Um, just inscribe one of these domains, text file or BRC20 tokens. And the next feature that the platform allows us to do is to essentially inscribe or mint different BRC20 tokens. So in here you can actually see what tokens are currently minting. So let's, for example, click on Doge. Of course, do not mint this because I don't know anything about this token. And how you mint it, essentially click on mint directly and you set up your mint or amount that you want to mint. And you click next and this is how you actually will mint your tokens to your wallet also we have the module brc20 swap and i think it's going to be essential when it's gonna come to the airdrop because based on that criteria they will calculate the volume that you generated on the platform so for example if you have some ord and you want to swap it to meme you can do it within this platform so right now they have the better access that i do not have access to so you'll need to have 500 points but i expect they're going to open it to the public soon or maybe to over 100 inscriptions users that have access to this module right now they can take advantage because they can start making more volume which basically gonna put them ahead of the herd because they're gonna have more time to generate more volume and lastly we have marketplace and on marketplace you can search for your different brc20 tokens so for example you can click on ordi and you can see all of these li different lists that you can purchase your tokens so if you have any ordi and you want to buy them or you can you want to sell them you can do that within this marketplace if let's say you have some order in your wallet you can go to my brc and you list it from there so if you want to list it you can click on this and you will first you will need to create a transfer inscription and once you have your transfer inscription inscribed then you can list it on the marketplace essentially the same goes with the buy so let's say i want to buy it right now this is the total fee that i would need to pay with the network fee and everything that is already included the so same thing you can do that with bitmaps so if you have any bitmaps or if you have any other domains you can do that or you can list it on this marketplace so now i listed one of these bitmaps so i can go to my bitmaps and in here you'll see all of my different bitmaps that i have I can select any of these bitmaps and I can just, I don't know, list it on, on one Bitcoin. And then I list it and that's pretty much all what they have to do. Just sign the transactions and that's done. So we're doing this to test the platform to use different features. So hopefully the more we're going to do on this platform, the more token allocation we're going to get when it comes to potentially to the airdrop. 
Also, we have another tab, which is collections. And if you have any ordinals collections, you can list it that within this marketplace. So if you click on this one, for example, you can buy it or list it in here. So how you do it, you go to my collections and I can see I don't have any Bitcoin frogs. But if I have, I will just basically list it here just basically to test the platform. You can definitely try the arbitrage opportunity, searching for different marketplaces and comparing the prices across different Bitcoin ordinal marketplaces. And the another protocol marketplace and wallet with potential airdrop is Ordinal's wallet. So essentially, I would definitely suggest you to create one Ordinal's wallet because if you know in the past, if you had one transaction within the wallet, you were airdrop these pixelated papers, which at the time, if I remember correctly, were worth above $10,000. So they hinted in the past that they will be making more different airdrops so whether they're gonna have maybe token for the ordinals wallet or for the platform or maybe different ordinals collection definitely that's the opportunity that you want to take advantage of and similarly to unisat wallet you can basically go to your inscribe and you can connect your wallet you can start inscribing file text brc20 tokens domains or 3d cards and of course you want to make volume so you want to make transactions within the wallet you have to start buying, trading your bitmaps, your tokens, whatever you want to do. You just want to be active user using the protocol. And you definitely want to follow them on Twitter because they are really active. They're also putting out really good alpha. Like recently they posted the BMT token claim, which was basically free for all bitmap holders. So they were first to do that. And they also put a lot of different stuff like Doge marketplaces. So they are the pioneers in the space and they have really, really good builders in the team. So that's one of the protocols that I suggest you to follow them because they put out really cool stuff out there to educate the community. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know in a comment down below. Hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.